No one who has ever laid eyes on a wild tiger can forget the experience. Endangered, they have to be protected from their only predator, man. India is a land of grace and color. With over a billion residents, the second most populous country in the world has a long and distinguished history stretching back over millennia. Exotic foods, traditional marketplaces, precious textiles. It is the land of 700,000 villages, as Gandhi put it so poetically. On the outskirts of Ranthambore National Park, village life is much like other places on the subcontinent, except that here, children who've grown up with tales of fierce man-eating tigers emerging from the forest to dine on the badly behaved. On a bright autumn afternoon, under rustling leaves, the environment appears too tranquil to conceal one of nature's greatest hunters. A light breeze blows through the forest. And even the langurs, hopping about on architectural ruins, seem to appreciate a respite from the scorching Indian sun. Sambar deer, the third largest species in the world, graze peacefully. While peacocks gather at a pond, it's hard to believe that this serene landscape conceals one of nature's most formidable predators. Even in this national park, the sighting of one of these rare creatures is far from guaranteed. Probably no more than two dozen tigers roam its 400 square kilometers. Men have exploited these forests for centuries. The Maharajas of Jagpur hunted here. Indian royalty would descend on the area for colorful tiger hunts, and the British Raj later followed their example. Following in those footsteps, it's still possible to hunt for tigers in the national park by elephant. This is a hunt in name only. The tigers that survive today are fiercely protected. The rifles are there to ward off tigers. Generally, they will steer clear of these massive animals. Their mere presence will keep the hunters on foot safe from attack. The authorities are engaged in a constant battle with those who would still try to poach these beautiful creatures for their skins and the supposed medicinal remedies derived from many of their body parts. Perhaps a herd of cheetel deer will attract a predator. There are other places in Asia and Siberia to see a tiger in its natural habitat. Of the 3,000 or so left in the wild, India's Bengal tigers represent about half the total population. The tigers of Ranthambhor have adapted to their protected surroundings and become diurnal. This means that they hunt these forests during the day, not at night like tigers in other places. And that's what makes Ranthambhor unique the chance to observe a tiger stalking through the forest in the full glory of the midday sun. A tiger on the prowl needs to outsmart its prey. The hunt is on, and the tiger's presence causes the heart rate to quicken. This remains one of the few places where patience and good fortune reward the visitor with a glimpse of a royal Bengal tiger. But get too close, and there will be a scowl to warn off intruders. Mm. 
tigers hunt alone. The tall golden grass provides excellent camouflage. The tiger is an opportunistic hunter. It will try to kill any prey that crosses its path. From monkeys to baby elephants, even humans if it gets the chance. Stealthily it hides, waiting for its prey. Tigers hunt by stalking, and then at the right moment, they pounce. They can leap more than 10 meters to seize prey with their razor-sharp claws. This fearsome killer strikes without warning, apparently conjured from thin air. When a tiger is on the prowl, many creatures take flight. But being at the top of the food chain is not easy. Prey frequently gets away. And killing is not always a clean affair. The wound on this tiger's eye demonstrates an instinct for self-defense among its prey. A single deer can satisfy a tiger for several days, but a successful kill is one of the rarest sightings even in a tiger sanctuary. They are solitary, territorial creatures for the most part, and only associate with each other in mating season. Their habitat and prey must also be conserved in order to ensure their survival in the wild. The tiger is three meters of perfect form. It's an elusive, graceful animal, and in Ramthambore National Park, the Royal Bengal tiger has a chance to survive. 